Hello guys. So today we are looking at this, which is the Disney Mirrorverse 5-inch Baymax action figure made by McFarlane Toys. Now I've got this on Amazon, if any of you saw my recent Instagram posts. And if you didn't see them, be sure to check them out on my Instagram. Also, if you didn't know, Baymax is one of the newest Disney Mirrorverse figures that has just been released along with a 5-inch Anger and 7-inch versions of Captain Hook and Maleficent. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload a new video. Let's have a look at the packaging. On the front of the packaging, we have a nice clear view of the figure himself looking really awesome in his red and white armor. On the bottom, we have some Baymax artwork. We have that warning for the young kids. We have his card on the left. We have the Disney Mirrorverse logo on the left as well. We have his name on the side here. He's a tank character in the Mirrorverse game. We have that McFarlane Toys logo on the right. This is for ages 4 and up. Here are the other sides of the box. And on the back, it shows you some of the other figures you can get in Wave 3 of the Mirrorverse 5-inch figure line, which are Baymax and Anger. I do have the Anger figure, so be sure to stay tuned for a review on him. And here's the bottom with the UPC. So let's get Baymax open. Okay, so it's now time to get Baymax open. So we're just gonna slide this part here like this. And just do that slowly. And now let's rip him open. Let me just do this. Just do that. Just slide him out. Let's get the artwork of here, and here he is. Okay, so here's everything out. We have that nice stellar mirror background from the game. We have Baymax himself in the plastic casing, and we have this artwork, and we're now going to peel off his car with this piece of tape here that's stuck on it. So let me just peel it off, and... Uh, so here's his card. Now let's get Baymax out. So we're just gonna push him out. And here he is. And here he is, guys. Out of the packaging. Now, unlike the other Mirrorverse figures that I own, Baymax does not come with an accessory where we can put it in his hand or just attach it around him, which is kind of sad. And we only get a Baymax figure himself and a collector card. So let's have a look at the card first. Looking at this card, you can see we have a nice picture of Baymax with the mini bots. We have that Disney Mirrorverse logo on the top. We have his name at the bottom. He's a tank character in the game like I mentioned earlier. And on the back, we have another cute picture of Baymax with the mini bots. We have his name on the left. We have that Disney Mirrorverse logo on the left as well. And we get his stats here that show you how well he plays in the game with 3 out of 10 for defeating enemies. 7 out of 10 for defending himself, 1 out of 10 for targeting his aims, and 7 out of 10 for healing others in the game. And then we have a bio that says, With a fully upgradable suit of battle armor and chip slot based functionality, this companion robot is now a combat time robot. Baymax's companion program has been amplified, allowing him to aid and protect whichever the situation calls for. Now that we finished looking at the card, let's have a look at Baymax himself. So starting off with the head, you can see that on the inside, his head color is green instead of white. And you can see his black eyes here look absolutely adorable. And man, he looks really nice. You can also see that his helmet looks really cool with the red and white. I like the cute little red tips on his ears. And on the top, we have that red cross sign that symbolizes that he is ready to help out anyone and those in need, which is a really nice detail that they put on here. And moving down to the body, you can see we have more of that red and white armor. So basically on the most of the armor, it's mainly white with a little bit of red on the left side with that cute little symbol on Baymax's body here. And then on the back, you can see that little wing jetpack here that doesn't deploy any wings in the game, which is kind of sad. But I like the paint apps here with the mainly red and a little bit of white. We still have more of that white armor here, which looks really nice. 
And then moving on to the arms, you can see that the left arm is like mainly half red on the top with a little bit of white. And you can see the red joint is a separate piece and that's the elbow joint. And then on the lower half, you can see that there's more white and we have a bit more red. And I also like the little band-aid detail that they put on Baymax here, which looks really nice. And then on the top of the forearm, we have that red and white circle here. And then for the hand, you can see that it's like a pointing finger, which I really like. I kind of wish it came with an accessory since that looks like a holding hand, but it doesn't matter. And then for the right arm, you can see that it's almost completely white. So basically, we have that little Nurse Aid sticker here that looks really cute. We have that red elbow joint here and the circle here. And then the forearm is just like white and red. And then the right hand is a fist that looks really nice. And moving down to the lower part of Baymax's body, you can see that his tummy looks really cute and I really like the way it's designed. You can see that it is made of a hard plastic, so when I try to tap it, it's mainly hard and it's hollow. You can also see that there are some stickers that are put on Baymax's body, such as that really cute Moshi cat from Big Hero 6. And then on the right, we have that GoGo -Go sticker that references the character in Big Hero 6. And then we have that cute smiley face on that side here. You can also see we have that red, and we have more red on the on the top over here and then if you turn his waist around you can see more detail on the red here that looks really nice and then we have a few wordings here on this side here that are kind of hindered by his top body and then for the legs you can see that they're really small and they're really cute you can see that it's mainly white and a little bit of red on those parts here and then the feet here are mainly red and here's the bottom with that really tiny feet. And not only that, he can stand really well. I thought he wouldn't stand well because of his small legs, but if you put his arms at a certain angle, you can get him to stand. Now let's look at articulation. So the head can move left to right, but the joint is really tight. And you can't really use it that much, but you can make him look left about that far, and you can make him look to the right about that far, so you kind of get a good use of the head articulation. Then the arms can rotate all the way around and they can lift up about a full T-pose. No bicep swivels, but the elbows bend about that far, which is really nice. And then they can also rotate at the top and can also rotate at the bottom. So here's the bottom swivel of the elbow, which is really good. It goes the same for the other arm, elbow bend, and top and bottom swivels. No hand joints but it looks really nice. And then the ab part here can move left to right, so that looks really good. So you could get it to the right about that far and to the left about that far. You can't really crunch it up and down or tilt side to side, but the swivel's really good. There's no waist swivel over there and no hip movement because of the small legs. And that's all the articulations of this Baymax. Before we conclude the video, I just want to show you a quick shot of all the other Disney Mirrorverse figures that I currently own, which are Buzz, Mickey, Goofy, Donald, Genie, and Baloo. So which one here is your favorite? Let me know in the comments down below. And I can't wait to review the Anger one real soon. Well guys, that concludes my review of the Disney Mirrorverse 5-inch Baymax action figure. So if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell. Please hit that like button as well as comment on that video if you would like, because it really helps the channel. And be sure to check out my IG and Twitter accounts. I'll leave these two links in the description below. And if you want to get this cute Baymax, I'll leave an Amazon link so you can order it in the description below. Or you can find it at a US toy store near you if you live in the US. So thank you for watching and we'll see you all next time.